Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my Episode 2 review, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So as you know, I was sort of mixed about last episode, and same thing really goes for this episode. I enjoyed a lot of the moments which I'll be talking about, but then also I felt like part of the episode was weighed down by the writing once again, which I'll talk over and explain my reasonings. I know a lot of people are enjoying these episodes, so obviously this is just my opinion. Please don't take it too harshly if you don't agree with me, but... You know, I'm sort of 50-50 again on this episode, and as you know, we break down the episode, I'm going to be talking about different plot points, and I'll also talk about my feelings as we go further down into this review, so... Let's talk about the opening scenes, so President Marsden has to step down, and there's some protests after people find out that she's an alien, and the anti-alien storyline, you know, develops further from there, and this protest was incredibly poorly executed in my opinion, it just feels really, really fake, there's like 20 people on each side, and they're just standing out there with not very good CGI. I just didn't really enjoy the way the episode started, I felt like I actually connected with the Marsden stuff when we were with Supergirl and President Marsden, that was a good element, I really do like Linda Carter, I just didn't like the outside protest stuff, I don't think it actually blended in that well. And then we move on to Alex, and throughout the episode Alex is the best thing about the episode, along with some other stuff which I'll talk about. I love Alex, and she's really really convincing, and I feel like the writing for her is actually very very good because she's able to act it out really well and her interactions throughout the episode were my favourite things and I'm just a massive Alex fan, I want to see more. Now we move on to something I'm not so sure about and that is John. He seems like he's just strolling around doing nothing for the entire episode, same thing with last week really. He just doesn't have much to do and I feel like a lot of people are going to drop off from liking John because he's not really got a big part to play and Yes, they reveal Manchester Black, which was pretty cool, you can see it on the fridge in the girl's apartment, but no one really, really got to care for that girl, so we don't have that connection, she was only in it for like a few minutes last episode, then she got killed. It's just John doesn't really have anything to do compared to the past seasons, where he's been one of my favourite characters, I just wasn't that interested in this episode in regards to him. A thing that I loved about the episode was Agent Liberty. I thought the eerie atmosphere he portrays with his speeches and also with his interactions in the episodes, he creates an atmosphere that is extremely dark and really foreboding and I'm extremely looking forward to seeing what he has to offer as he is working with Mercy and Otis Graves which leads on to them actually having the dispersion device at the end because Agent Jensen actually betrays the DEO and works with them gets them out and they send off kryptonite into the atmosphere and we get the end scene where Supergirl is dropping will she die will she survive we don't know but most likely she is going to go splat on the ground and it's going to be similar to the rain scene i'm guessing like last season i'm really missing rain i just want to point that out i'm really looking forward to see more of agent liberty he is very foreboding yes he doesn't have the atmosphere that rain created from the very start you know the different storylines that went on you guys know season three is my favorite season i loved it so much and overall i feel like this this episode and last episode just really doesn't have very good writing as season 3 in my opinion was amazing, I know a lot of people were not very happy by the end of the season but I don't agree with that which is just my opinion obviously and I feel like last season had a focus in its writing and the way it was going and this season doesn't feel very natural, like I said I just think the ideas they're portraying, the political ideas are not massaged in well enough in the story, in the script writing, to actually feel authentic and feel like this is actually real life because it feels like they are playing characters rather than us being plunged into this real reality. It just feels very, very forced. And like I said in my past review, I really do agree with everything they're saying. It's just the way that it's written and portrayed doesn't massage him well and it feels very, very false. So I'm sure many of you guys will be like, no, I don't agree with you, but that's fine because that is just the way I see it. That is the way that I'm interpreting the way they're writing the series. 
this season and also some people will agree with me so you know I know this is probably quite controversial that some people were coming at me last week for saying that the writing didn't feel natural and I stand by that it doesn't feel natural I understand what they're going for I really support what they're going for it doesn't feel right when you're watching it if you look carefully and a part of the episode I liked was Brainy and he was very funny but then there was a scene in the episode to do a Brainiac that I really did not like and that was that Brainy was revealed as an alien and we got like three pizza guys trying to attack them and it was so fake it was so tedious seeing it and the way that it was stopped by Nia was really really shit acting from the other people not Nia I actually enjoyed Nia quite a lot in this episode she was one of the best things but the pizza guys like what the hell were they doing that felt so forced like I don't know why they included that in the episode I feel like it was just a little ridiculous and then we got the introduction of Nia and Brainy together I'm looking forward to that relationship like I said, Manchester Black is revealed. One of my favourite parts of the episode was Kara, Lena and Eve all together where Kara was pretending not to be Supergirl which was very very hilarious because Lena was protecting Kara and Kara was like oh can I find a way out of this I want to be Supergirl and there were some great scenes with Kara sneezing and various other things like that which is very 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 well played and that is one part of the episode that I was like yes come on this is more like the Supergirl I know it felt right and then we get Mercy Graves who is actually captured by Supergirl as she fights Lena you know it's a pretty nice fight to and then we get James's speech and I really did like James in this episode I felt actually involved in his story yes it was to do with the political side of things but it felt right unlike a lot of the other speeches and talks in the episode so James was a big plus for me in this episode and then one of the most interesting things like I mentioned before was Jensen and his betrayal because you know that was teased throughout the episode and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with him next and that is about it for this video guys so do you think Supergirl is actually going to die what's going to happen with Supergirl as they left on that big cliffhanger and that was a really nice cliffhanger to end off the episode reminded me of Rain when she actually nearly killed Supergirl at the end of the mid-season finale in season three so that was a really great scene obviously this is just my opinion I'm very very mixed on the episode there were some very enjoyable moments in the episode but also it was weighed down by the non-sturdy writing so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching i will have my trailer breakdown out later today really looking forward to next episode finding out what is happening with supergirl and that cliffhanger anyway guys i'll see you guys later goodbye Sharp breeze.